Matt, Tucker Potato Mustang. So um, I just went over to a place called Nando's Peri Peri. If you're um, familiar with it, it's like a chicken based, I think it's like, a, yeah. yeah, hang on. Yeah. They got chicken, but they also got mac and cheese. And I was like, I'm gonna get some mac and cheese so I can feed to my son. So I ordered mac and cheese. It says Perry Mac. That's the thing, Perry Mac and cheese. That's my mac and cheese. Look, I love potatoes. Anybody who knows me knows I love potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. But I wanted mac and cheese so that my son would eat mac and cheese for lunch. And he doesn't want these potatoes. Now I'm gonna eat them, which is fine. But come on, like. Also, I got this thing called a sweet and spicy chicken wrap. They should rename it dry and disappointing chicken wrap. Okay, so I've lived in this area of the country for almost 10 years. And one of the things that I've complained about regularly is the lack of good Tex-Mex in the DMV. If you're not from here, that means District of Columbia, Maryland, Virginia. Um, and people don't always say things like, oh, there's good Mexican, there's good Salvadorian, etc." But I have yet to find like good Tex-Mex in this area. And uh, even the Mexican food is, eh, it's okay. If you've got suggestions, I will gladly take them into consideration. But um, I just think that you know, I'm from Colorado and I think that Tex-Mex and Mexican food there are better than in this part of the country. Um, and uh, I f some, I don't know if like, uh, some account on uh, Instagram popped up on my feed that was talking about this place called uh, Taqueria Cancun and it's supposed to be a really good Mexican place. They specifically are advertising a California burrito, which um, I'm not one of those people who goes crazy over California burritos. I think they're pretty good. I prefer Colorado burritos, um, but this one looked pretty good and I wanted to try it just to see if this place is worth coming to. I'm actually in Falls Church, um, which is like 20 minute drive from, uh, from DC. So I just ordered a California burrito and I'm gonna try this thing. Um, I will say that uh, well, I came in here at, like a little bit before lunchtime and um, there was not a ton of people but there was a few people waiting for food and then the time after I ordered my food a lot of people came in and it was predominantly Latinos which is usually a really good sign um, like if you know if Latinos are not showing up to the place that you're going to get Latino food like you probably should leave um, okay, let's check out this burrito. All right, this looks very similar to the picture that I saw, or the video that I saw. I got steak, you can pick from chicken or steak, and it's got like, um, I don't know what it has in it. Looks like maybe uh, potatoes, avocado, tomatoes, some sauce, but I don't know, let's check this out. It's definitely got a little bit of a kick to it, even without adding any sauce. Okay, that's pretty good. I can't tell what the sauce is though. It's got some type of sauce. It reminds me of something. But, um, Initial first impressions, they're very positive. And uh, I feel like a lot of other places that are not Mexican, they're not, the food's not spicy. Um, this definitely has some spice. Okay. Yeah. This is a really good combination of flavors and textures. Everything's very fresh. This place 
definitely worth a 20 minute drive from my place. I would um, absolutely come back here and uh, probably try some other things on the menu too, but this fucking California burrito. Maybe there's some hope for the DMV after all. And you know I had to get a harito. Lime, baby. Mexican sugar. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This really made my day. Oh my God. This is exciting. Finally, something good came out of Instagram. It's so good. Oh yeah. Yes, this is great. This is really great. Okay, so they gave me a red sauce, which is, I think, this might be the sauce that's already on the burrito. But, uh, and they also give me a yellow sauce, which I've, it kind of looks like a little bit like a sauce that you get from uh, this Peruvian chicken place that I really like. Um, but it's, it seems a lot more liquidy and I just tasted it and it doesn't really taste like anything, but also my mouth is full of flavor from the hot sauce that's already on the burrito. So, um, but the, Honestly, the sauce that comes on the burrito is really good. I'm um, I'm pretty impressed. I would, uh, if you're ever in Falls Church, um, so I think this might be East Falls Church, but if you're ever in this area, Taqueria Cancun is the name of the place. And uh, the California burrito is the real deal. So um, yeah, I don't have any updates on car related shit because um, I don't have any time. Um, <clears throat> my um my um my my new car has not still not i haven't had any updates on it i mean it's only been like a month and a half so i don't think i'm gonna get it um any updates for like at least another two months but um i've had time to do shit with fox body i've driven the dude staying a few times I've driven the subaru of course which is you know the normal vehicle vehicle for transporting my son around yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I wish I had something more exciting to share. And I, um, I was actually at some point was planning on ranting about <coughs> bad drivers, but this burrito has made my day. So I don't want to rant about anything. I just want to eat the rest of my burrito.